So what happens if you don't change the oil? It's a question that's cropped up in some of the comments on videos. There seems to be a general trend of people wanting to know what the consequences would be of not changing their oil. Now, I want you to meet two guys. We've got Bob and we've got Steve. Now, Bob never changes his oil. He only ever tops it up. He's had this car for three or four years and it's never seen a full oil change or filter change. And all he's done is just top up the oil by little levels every few weeks. Now we meet Steve and he is at the other end of the spectrum. Every three months he changes the oil in his engine. So which of them is gonna have the engine that lasts the longest? Well, it's gonna be obviously the latter. The more frequently you change the oil, the longer your engine will last, the lower the wear and tear will be on that engine. But the cost of that is going to be quite expensive, quite prohibitively expensive for many of us. And if you've got a more exotic, sporty engine, you're going to have to buy those higher quality oils, which can be very expensive. So the question is, if you just don't change your oil, if you do what Bob does and only ever change the oil every three or four years and just relies on topping it up, what's going to happen inside the engine? So when you top up your oil, can you regard that as an oil change? Assume that your sump takes about five litres of oil and over the course of a year, you've added five litres to it. So does that mean you don't have to change your oil? You look at the oil and it still looks fairly clean. Well, one thing to bear in mind is that you are not changing the oil. What's happening to your oil? The level is decreasing because the lighter particles in that oil are burning off. They're getting into the cylinders and starting to burn off or they're getting lost through other means throughout the engine through the positive crankcase ventilation system, for example. So you're left with all the larger, heavier particles in the oil. So when you top up, you've got a greater density of those heavy particles with the little bit that you've topped up. So eventually the viscosity of the oil is going to change just through that process of continually topping up. You don't tend to lose those heavier, larger particles. It does usually tend to be the lighter particles that get burnt off quickly. So you should still observe an oil change schedule, even if you are topping up. So let's look at what goes on inside the engine, what the oil does, and what the consequences would be of never changing the oil. So the oil is an essential lubricant in the engine. You've got metal parts rubbing together, and where they rub together, they will create friction, which will create heat. Heat buildup is quite damaging to the engine, but the friction will also cause wear on the metal components. So the key areas would be around the crankshaft at the bottom, the journals, the things the crankshaft connects to, the con rods. Anywhere there is a join that is moving with the motion of the engine, you're going to start to see excessive wear. And that excessive wear creates larger clearances, which creates vibrations, wobbling, parts start to move out of alignment. We've seen cases of crank walk where the entire crank is no longer in its original position and it has moved very slightly and significantly that's going to cause more damage to the engine over the long run. Typical damage also occurs to the piston rings as they start rubbing against the cylinder walls. You get excessive wear and that can cause blow-by gases to start exiting the engine. You'll be down on power and that will have a much more detrimental effect on the lifespan of the engine. So these are things that happen over time. You may well get a new car, never change change the oil in it and you might get four or five years use out of it and then no doubt you sell that car on and some poor unsuspecting person comes along buying your car that's never had an oil change and they're going to have all manner of problems. I know because I've been that guy. I've bought a car that was hardly ever serviced. The guy that had it before me seemed to think that just topping up the oil was enough. I wasn't very well informed. It was one of my early cars and I basically had to strip down the engine and get the engine completely rebuilt. So I certainly learned my lesson from that. Uh, I just intend to impart that information to you guys in this video. Please let me know your experiences. Have you been stitched up buying a car that's never been serviced properly and ended up with all the previous repair bills that that previous owner should have sorted out for you? So we've said that the oil is an important lubricant in the engine. So what actually happens to the oil? 
when it's not been changed. Well, typically you just top the oil up. So the oil itself is becoming more and more sludgy. Why is it becoming sludgy? Well, all the contaminants from inside the engine are starting to collect in the oil. So you've got carbon particles, you've got various acids from the combustion process. The oil is subject to heat and cooling cycles with the natural use of the engine, and that's going to further degrade the oil. The finer particles that do the most lubrication are probably the most fragile in the oil and they tend to be the ones that burn off the quickest. So that leaves you with a much thicker grade of oil. Now, thicker grade is more viscous. It doesn't flow as freely. It doesn't stick to those surfaces or provide as much lubrication. So the wear and tear on the engine is just going to run away with that problem. It's just going to get worse and worse until you start to see damage. The extra friction caused by this lack of lubrication is also going to cause excessive heat buildup in the engine, which can cause problems to the cooling system as it tries desperately to keep the car within its operating temperatures. Another factor to consider is that the engine oil is collecting particles that are byproducts of the friction process within the engine. So tiny little metal particles, the larger ones tend to be caught in the oil filter itself. We've seen people using magnets and that was suggested in a video. It's a pretty good suggestion. It does keep those particles in the oil filter itself but those little particles flying around the engine actually act as an abrasive so the engine oil is now becoming a problem so the more polluted that engine oil is with those particles the more abrasive it's going to be and that's going to accelerate the wear and tear on the engine but overall this degradation is a gradual process you may well get away with it for two three four five years but eventually someone is going to pay for that lack of oil changes and lack of maintenance on the car. So that leads us to the logical question of how often should you change your oil? I've done another video that goes into the analysis of oil where you get your oil sample sent off and analysed and from that you can determine the level of wear that's going on in the engine and whether that oil is still providing lubrication. It's good to check that that oil is still within its viscosity index that was recommended by the manufacturer. If it slips outside that you will start to have a problem with engine wear occurring and never run an engine with too low an oil because that can cause oil starvation in some parts of the engine, particularly at the top of the engine where you need a lot of oil and lubrication in the camshafts and um, all the bits going on inside the head. The valves are subject to a lot of friction and you will cause lots of damage just by having too low an oil pressure. So check your oil frequently. If it's a new car to you or a new engine, get a feel for how often it needs to be topped up. So some cars, I've had them and they've needed topping up every few weeks. Other cars, I've got away with only needing to check it every sort of couple of months or every few months. And even then it doesn't really need topping up. I'm just really checking to make sure nothing adverse has happened inside the engine. If you've got a turbocharger or a diesel engine that goes through a DPF, a diesel particulate filter cleaning cycle every now and then, that dumps a lot of extra heat in that oil. So the manufacturers tend to specify higher quality oils, synthetic oils that can take a beating. And certainly those synthetic oils do last a lot longer than the mineral oils, which do tend to break down relatively quickly. So a lot depends on your car, the way you use the car and the quality of the oil that you're using. But no car has ever been damaged by changing the oil too much. That is just something that poor old Steve is going to have as a, a problem in his bank balance when he goes to check it each month and he spent so much money on all these oil changes. So there is a balance, there is a fine line. We just encourage you not to overlook the importance of oil. In most drivers, it is right down there as one of the least important things. But in reality, it really does save the engine and prolong the engine life. So if you're planning to keep your car and the engine in the car going for as long as possible, those oil changes are really that essential piece of maintenance that you really do need to do. I hope this video has been useful to you. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already because we would hate you to miss out. If you can boot that like button, that really does help us to get out there. And I've lined this video up for you that goes into oil, oil analysis and helps you to determine how often you should change your oil in your engine.